freestyle motivational courses for troubled youth is facing closure. The operators of Flame Lily Adventure say they've had little external support and have funded the project themselves. CJ Vallis used to lack confidence, but he's now a changed person after attending a two-week Flame Lily Adventures program. I struggle with getting along with people because I wasn't really one of them people who go out and just talk to strangers and get along with them. Uh, he does things now that he wouldn't try and do before. For the last four years, Flame Lily has offered adventure courses for children and military-style training and programs for troubled young people. We boost morale, we uh, show the kids direction, all that's gone. Mr Swan has invested his own money into the program, but it's run out. Devastated. I mean, you imagine we came all the way from the Gold Coast, brought in a few million dollars to put in here. Uh, We've done so much, we've got a huge following, but there's been no direct government funding to us of any kind. He went to tender for a government contract in 2013, but lost out to another local boot camp. We were very, very sure that we would win the tender, and Red Cross were also on site. So we were very surprised when the results came out. Mr Swan says he's desperate to keep helping troubled youth, but it seems impossible without financial assistance. If there is any funding out there or any partners, we really want to try and draw in a partner to take Flame Lily to the next level. The council doesn't have the types of funds that they need to be sustainable. My door's always open. I'm willing to talk to them, have a look at it, uh, you know, talk, talk to the minister, talk to the department. Kate Cardwell, 7 News. Early data has confirmed that homes in Cyclone